Welcome back to my bookish world. This video is gonna be my August wrap up and all of the books that I've had read last month. Uh, and this month I read eight books, four physical books and four ebooks, where I read two romances, one lit fic, and three thrillers slash mystery, one fantasy, and one non-fiction. So let's get into it. The first book I read this month was Throttled by Lauren Asher. This is the first book in the Dirty Air series. This was a sport romance. It's about F1 or Formula One racing cars and the four books are about these four guys. They are all part of the same team of this uh, of this sport. I don't, I'm not look really familiar with the sports and I wouldn't say that this book made me any like closer or familiar to it. Um, uh, basically it's a like brother best, no it's not best friend but he is her brother's enemy, her brother's rival, something like that and yeah like you can't tell that I'm really uh, care for this book. I can't even like remember the names of the main characters. Okay, yeah, we have Noah and Maya. Maya, she's from uh, from Spain. Her and her brother Santiago, or Santi, who's gonna be like the lead in one of the other books, uh, they came to the, uh, to the United States so he can join the team and she has this like really close relationship with her brother a kind of best friends and she also has a youtube channel where she posts about all of this um championships and stuff like that she does interviews with other um the other members of the team and stuff like that um uh, so she's around a lot and that's when she met noah and they kind of fell in love but they have to keep it secret because as I said, Noah and Santi are not in good terms in the beginning because they were really rivals. They were kind of enemies in the beginning. And then like they became this kind of friends, but I don't know. I was not feeling this one. Like I know it was a very spicy series, but at one point it just became um, a little annoying and too much. I don't mind spice in but in my books to be honest because you can always just skip this those scenes but when the, when this one when you skip them you just uh left with nothing I, I like I felt like in specifically in the middle when they're like in their honeymoon era it was just that like there was nothing going on except that yes he did uh flip the car twice three times three times he had three accidents in like while racing yeah i didn't i didn't like it, I like it so i'm not going to uh waste too much time on it this was two stars i can't say that i'm like any excited for the other ones to be completely honest but we'll see i am going to continue the series because i already have the books but i can't say that um i'm super excited for the rest of this book series Next, I read um, an ebook which was The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. This one I started back in April or maybe May. I DNF'd it because I just was not in the mood for it. This book has two timelines we have the present and the past, I believe it was in the 60s, maybe. And that part of the past, the whole like environment was very toxic. I was not in the mood for anything like that, and that's why I DNF'd it. Uh, but this second time around, I did enjoy it. And um, basically, this book is about two authors, they're friends. Uh, one of them is kind of more successful than the other one. She writes um, self help books and she's really, really like famous and successful. The other one writes cozy mysteries and she has also like a very successful um, book series that she writes. Um, and she is kind of on a writer's block because. She, a lot was going on in her personal life and her friend invited her to go take a vacation in Italy and rent a villa and then we find out that this villa was was nicknamed as the murder villa because of all of the murders that happened in there and then we go back in the past uh where like in the 60s where the last murder had happened in there and for that part we have like this famous um, rock star who uh, brings like all of his friends and the band and 
two other girls who are two stepsisters and they are there just to make them look cool like just so well we have the drugs we have the booze and we have the girls like it's not like uh anything romantic or anything they're just there because they needed the girls if you know what i mean um but i did enjoy uh, as i said i did enjoy a lot of the part in the present because we have the author who is like just trying to look for clues and to investigate what really happened like she was very curious about what really happened uh in the villa and then the other part of it was just more of the toxicity and all of the what happened exactly so that's why i didn't really enjoy that part but i would say the part in like the the past one the past timeline i didn't enjoy how it ended it was so satisfying the way it ended i i loved it um well overall i would say it's, it was a good book yes i didn't enjoy one part of it but still it was a good thriller and i would read more of rachel hawkins books because i do i do really enjoy her writing style and her structure of her books um I read um, The Heiress earlier this year and I loved that one. It was 4.5 stars. I loved it. I think it was her latest release. And then The Villa was, again, it was good. I did enjoy it and I gave it uh, 3 stars. <laughs> After that, I read The Stolen Air by Holly Black. Uh, this is the spin-off series or spin-off theology after the Folk of the Air or uh, the Cruel Prince uh, theology. This one is a theology. We have the Stolen Air and then we have the Prisoner's Throne. Um, when this one first came out, I was super excited because the Cruel Prince series was uh, or have a special place in my heart because it was the first series ever I have ever read and it was the first fantasy I have ever read and it made me love the fantasy genre and it made me um, more like um, loving the series now I read more series than standalones I feel like uh, and that all uh, like thanks to the Crew Prince so I was super excited when I heard that there's a spin-off and then I've heard a lot of disappointment, a lot of critiques that it wasn't as good as the other series. So I just didn't care. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to read it. I don't want to ruin um, that series for me. So I didn't care. But then the second book and the last book came, uh, the, Prison the Prisoner's Throne. And everyone was raving about it. So I was like, I need to read that one. So if I have to, then I have to read this one as well. And to be honest, I was surprised. Like, it wasn't as bad as people... It wasn't even bad. Like, I loved it. I did enjoy every part of it. This one takes like 10 years, I believe, after what happened in the, in the last book. And the main character is Oak. Uh, Oak, he was um, Jude's little brother. And in this book, he is on a quest. And um, the female character, or the female main character, she her name is Ren or Ren. She has two names. She was the Queen of Teeth, if you remember her from the books. And she managed to escape from her parents because they used to chain her uh, so she couldn't use her magic on them because she can't control them. So she managed to escape and she lived her life in the woods and somehow she uh, and oak met again and she decided to go with him on this quest so the whole book is basically their journey and them trying to finish this mission and all that and we need uh and us trying to figure out what is this quest i did enjoy it as i said i love the journey i love the all suspense and the ending was everything i gave it four stars and i'm super excited for the next one and i am going to read the next one during september next i read the widow's husband's secret lie by freda mcfadden it's her newest release it's a satire novella and i believe it's the most uh, hideous things i have ever read and i loved it uh, the story basically is about this woman who whose husband her husband died in a car crash and she identified the body like she saw him dead and his body was messed up uh, like she, she was 100% that she that he is dead but then she started to see him everywhere she goes and it was so crazy plus this main character is just 
I want to say she was so stupid, but she would say and do like these stupidest things and it was so funny. Like the LED one, I still cannot, I cannot get over it. I, I did enjoy it. It was so different from anything that I have ever read, uh, specifically for a thriller. I did, I did hope that it was a little bit longer because this is a novella. I believe it's it's under like uh, three two hundred pages. Uh, overall, I did rate this one three stars as well. Then I read another ebook, which was Stalking Jack the Ripper by uh, Carrie Maniscalco. She is the same author from uh, Kingdom of the Wicked. I did enjoy that series. I loved the first one, and then the, the other two were not really my favorite. But still, I enjoyed her writing style and I love that in this one she writes in the first person not third like as we had in um, the kingdom of the wicked uh, so I did enjoy this one it book is about Audrey uh, Audrey Rose it's it's historical as I said and being a girl 17 year old girl who wants to study the forensic medicine was not something that was welcomed like girls are not supposed to even think about that but she really wanted that and she started to work for her uncle who is a professor and also uh, has a laboratory who studies like cases and stuff and then a serial killer emerged and that's when she started to investigate with her uncle with the help of another guy i believe his name was thomas and they also would just uh investigate th these uh murders and trying to figure out who is this serial killer who was targeting women um it was fun i loved i loved it i did enjoy it i do enjoy historical fantasy or anything historical uh in general so i did love the part uh that part in the book and i also enjoyed audrey's character um she's just so much fun and the whole story was fun uh even though i kind of expected or predicted the ending uh way early um but i still enjoyed it uh overall this is a series and i believe this is the first book and according to the author's instagram there's, there's gonna be more books in this series so i don't really know how much how much books are but at least um i believe you can read this one as a standalone because we find out who is uh the killer by the end if that's important to you well overall i gave this book three stars and i will eventually continue this series because i still did enjoy it and i would love to see these characters we do have a romance in it but as i said it's it was ya so uh yeah then i finished reading a uh a non-fiction book that i was reading which was the obesity code by dr john fong um he is a doctor who is he's kind of considered as co-founder of the intermittent fasting uh regime or whatever and i really wanted to learn more about that but the book was more about the obesity how is it a hormonal uh, disease uh, more than anything that's related to calories or how much you eat or how I don't know, uh, or how much you eat. He talked about the importance of uh, of fasting, of course, by the end. But the whole first, like the big far chunk of the book was more about the body and how it works and how our hormones uh, react to the foods we eat and uh, all of that stuff. So it was a very informal. Uh, and I think I finally found the genre, the nonfiction genre that I enjoy, which is medical stuff. So I will read more of these kind of books and uh he he also has two other books that i'm really interested in uh the obesity code has like uh, other other books the one uh the diabetes code and the cancer code so i think that's going to be very very interesting to read and as for my rating i gave this five stars because i found it as i said very informative and i did learn a lot about my body using this book it made me more mindful about my my eating habits and all stuff and all that so i did enjoy it and i would highly highly recommend it specifically if you are in a weight loss journey or you're just curious about your body and want to learn more about it i would highly recommend this one or maybe just watch his channel he has uh, a youtube channel titled J jason thong uh, i think you're gonna find a lot of interesting stuff there so 
yes this was a good book then i read another ebook which was a literary fiction uh, it's titled mammy by jessica george this one is about a girl her name is maddie she is from a Ghanaian family they were uh, immigrant immigrant in the uk and she is the youngest she has an older brother um who doesn't live with them she still lives in her parents house because she has to take care of her father who suffers from parkinson her mom uh just kind of travels between the uk and ghana and she would stay like over a year over there and what in that time uh maddie was the one who would take care of her father yes her brother would uh take turns sometimes but she, the responsibility all of it falls on her back uh which affected a lot her mental her mental health and she also has a lot going on uh, in her life in her personal life with her friends and stuff in her job so so she was really depressed and to the point that she was she started to get in those panic attacks um so basically it's her story and she takes us in this journey while discovering herself and her life because eventually her mom came back to the uk and she was like go live your life you can move out like you can make friends you are 25 you have to get married you know our african moms and uh, yeah there was more about her story and i did enjoy it. it was so emotional um and specifically all of the mental health and stuff and the culture stuff i did get most of it most of it like i was i did relate to a lot of it and uh it was one of the greatest books i have read like in a long time and even the writing style was so uh so good like super good i would read more books by this author and <clears throat> overall my rating for manny was 4.5 because i super enjoyed it and i would highly 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 recommend reading it and last but not least was people who meet on vacation by emily henry this one i was super excited about but also i was really intimidated by because oh no we're so sorry because a lot of people consider this one as their least favorites and after reading it i do understand why this one basically is about poppy she has she had this friend her best friend alex she used to go with him like every year a week uh one week one summer of uh, vacation and something happened two years ago that they stopped and it just kind of destroyed their friendship and now she was asked how, what was when was the last time she felt really and truly happy and she remembered that it was that last time uh with alex in croatia and that's when she thought that maybe she should have uh make up with her friend and she texted him if he wants to go on a vacation together and surprisingly he said yes and of course they went to this vacation so we have well not two timelines but we have the present and then we go back and forth uh to these past summers um i would say it's not the best i've read by emily henry it's definitely my least favorite book i don't think that there's any chemistry between these these two and i don't think it was poppy's problem it was more of alex which is weird because i love uh, emily henry's mmc's like charlie from book lovers and uh gus from uh beach read are like my, in my top four or type five of uh book boyfriends but this one i don't like like he was just so uh so like ugh, low energy i don't know i didn't like him one bit and i didn't enjoy the chemistry between them because there was none and you can't tell the difference between the past and present because alex was the same during the past and the present and even after the they um resolved all of the all of their issues he stayed the same there was no like big reaction until like very the very very end that we get really into their trauma that's when we understand really what's going on which is not what we used to from um from emily henry like uh usually we get the trauma from from the beginning you know um so yeah i didn't really enjoy this one and the thing that happened with gracia like the first time she mentioned it and the first thing that popped up in your mind that's exactly what happened so i i was so disappointed that i had 
I, I did expect what happened and to be honest it's not something that he should have like that would like destroy a relationship i don't know plus i'm not a huge fan of best friends to lovers thing i don't think that it's done very well in most books like don't give me two people who have feelings for, for each other and just they can't admit them or they can't say them or tell me oh these are best friends they're not best friends these are not best friends uh, and of course they would become lovers because they had feelings for each other from the beginning and that's why i don't enjoy this trail very much in books so overall this one as i said was my least favorite and i gave it two stars and with that we finished our video for today and those are all the books that i've read in august um i hope you really enjoyed this one i hope that it wasn't really like that it didn't bore you or anything and please don't forget to subscribe, leave like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.